Hello everybody, welcome back to World of Tanks Xbox Edition slash Council Edition. I am Knight in Phoenix. Uh, today we're taking out the IS-2, the, the uh, Tier 7 Chinese Heavy version. Uh, there is a premium IS-2, I believe that's a Soviet tank. We've got enemies in the, area. Uh, the map Take is El Halouf, it is a standard base. battle. We are top tier in the game. Well, I tell you, this um, Chinese IS-2 sure does like to meet tier 9s a lot. It has a 122mm gun. Um, it can dish out some damage to the tier 9s. Um, can't take shots from them very well, though. Alright, um, so we are going to head west along the northern flank here. Keep an eye on the mini-map. Um, while I have moved over two grids, or kill zones, whatever you want to call them, most of our team has pretty much remained stationary. I do have one uh, heavy tank motoring along with me. So at this point it appears there are two people in this particular game who have some idea how to play this map. So being the map genius that I am, I figured I might as well share some of my knowledge and ask for a little assistance. And actually, to my surprise, um, I get a response. Axe Robert is on his way. I guess he was just waiting for instructions from uh, the higher command. So at this point, we make a decision. We're going to sit here. We're not going to push up um, to the opening on our left and get between that opening and the end curve there. Um, no sense with only two of us here. Uh, watching the mini-map, we do have at least one other guy, probably Axe Robert, coming up to give us some assistance, so we're going to wait for that. So we're going to pre-aim on the corner up there. If anybody does pop out, hopefully we'll be able to get a shot on them. Now, I did notice there are two enemy T-29s. The last thing I want to meet at this position is a hold-down T-29. Um, this gun will penetrate the uh, top dome, the cupola, on the uh, T-29, if I can hit it. Alright, so our friendly heavy has moved up to see if anybody's coming around the corner there, and a uh, 150 is coming up, and there's also an IS. Looks like our IS hit uh, the 150, and I put a shot into the side of their IS. And what we can see there, we see three enemy heavy icons. Looks like, uh, looking at the minimap, Axe Robert may have uh, finally joined us up here. Now, the IS-2 is capable of bouncing some shots, but it is not going to bounce very much. I could push forward, push around to that corner up there, and try and engage those guys. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of suicide. My reload is 10.2 seconds. Well, the accuracy, I think it's like .40, um, is workable at close range. The bloom, when you move the turret or the tracks, um, this is not a tank where you can, like, poke out and take a shot. If you move those tracks, that circle blooms so big. And then you have to, once the bloom is done, then you go into that uh, 3.4 second uh, aim time. So I'm going to have to be content just sitting here um, taking shots of opportunities. As we just saw there, we do have a T-29 at the end. This is weird. Looking at this right here, I don't know if it's because of how far back I am in the angle. Uh, there's usually a little crop of rocks at the bottom, where, right below my reticle there. So I was thinking the T-29 could get behind those rocks there, keep his lower plate protected, and I'd have to try and shoot his uh, cupola and get lucky or not lucky and hit it. Um, fortunate enough for me, he had to move out far enough where he actually exposed his, the front of his tank and uh, it was no match. So I think I noticed earlier that Axe Robert um, is a standard Tiger. Oh, and here's the, uh, yeah, um, auto lock, not the auto lock. Um, I did auto lock on the T29. Um, zero penetration. Point blank range. Certainly didn't look like it hit his turret anywhere. And really, I mean, at, at this range, at that angle, 175 millimeters of pen should have been enough. So we aim that shot in on the IES. Um, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I normally can penetrate the face of an IS, the back of an IS, any side of an IS I can penetrate. Um, that one actually looked like it went right between his hole and his turret right at the ring there. Um, we didn't penetrate. No, and you did see, you should have seen that we did another auto lock on that T29 and his tracks ate the shot. 
So I'm reasonably confident that if I would have, instead of doing an auto lock on either one of those two shots on that T29 and actually aimed the shot, I probably would have killed him and we would have moved on sooner. So sometimes auto lock is your friend, sometimes it is not. Alrighty, so um, we got lucky here. Um, we The enemy didn't send a whole bunch of tanks up to this corner. We could have easily been bum rushed and the uh, story would be totally different at this point. So, um, yeah, through luck, uh, talent, wisdom, patience, I don't know what you want to call it, we did take that uh, northwestern flank, and now we're going to start pushing south on them. I am a bit concerned at this point there's a tank destroyer that I don't know where it's at, as well as the artillery, so I am not going to go down that basically wide open right-hand side there. I do still have a uh, heavy tank buddy with me, so we're going to hopefully not play the obvious route. Now, one of the biggest things that I see here, and not that I mind it, um, where our friendlies are, me and my heavy buddy here, we're going to have to probably, <laughs> speak much, probably have to do our own spotting. We lost a friendly vehicle. Well, because the rest of our team target. is still sitting basically back at our base. So our guys at our base do line up a comet. Uh, we do line up a shot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, that shell could have gone anywhere but where it went, right? I mean, it's a comet. Come on, I have 175 millimeters pen on my standard rounds, 390 alpha damage. And we won't give him the opportunity to get away twice. Okay, so there's that IS that was up here in the corner earlier. Um, after I shot my gun, I did get detected, did take a shot from the IS, at which point uh, the artillery decided to throw a shell in there. Now, I'm pretty sure the uh, IS is my spot. It was my spot. It's dead now, right? Now, this is interesting. I'm not detected. My sixth sense isn't on. I've got that uh, E2 coming at me. It looks like that double set of bushes right there actually work in this game. You know, he was a mere 200 meters away, and I did not get detected until I actually fired the gun through the bush. Well, actually, I don't think I even got detected after I fired the gun, did I? Pretty sure it wasn't until I actually backed away from the bush and started up that hill where I probably became higher than the bush, and then the E2 actually uh, set off my sixth sense. So just for future reference, as you guys um, push on this flank, that double bush there can work for you. Alright, so we are uh, up two tanks. That's one of those confusing things. We have 11 kills, they have 10, but we're up two kills. Looks like somebody somewhere ended up killing themselves. So obviously one's artillery, I believe the other one is a knight, and I believe the tank destroyer is a uh, 122 something. So we'll just continue pushing south here to the uh, obvious locations where we're probably going to find Artie. Um, the tank destroyer could be sitting up on the hill. We are not going to run through the flag. We don't really want them to know we're that close. Obvious concerns are the uh, artillery and the tank destroyer. I still have my heavy buddy with me, so I'm not all that concerned about uh, a knight getting around and starting to run circles around me. Not that a moving knight can actually hit anything. Alright, so bonus, we uh, detect the knight and the artillery. We are going to ignore the knight for a moment. We're going to let him take a couple of shots at us. We can take the hits. Um, I'm feeling definitely need to get that RDE out of the game. Although he made no attempt to turn towards me at all. Moving any direction, he just sat there. So we do take the uh, RDE out of the game. We put uh, what was it, 444 through the uh, face of the knight. Looks like our artillery finishes him off. Only thing remaining is the uh, 122, which appears to be to our left here. And we do not have a shot on him. However, we are detecting him. That was our uh, assisted damage. Oh, I do run coded optics on here, and that's one of the reasons why I do that. Alrighty, so that is that one. Um, although we were a bit concerned about the lack of friendlies coming up to the uh, northwest with us, it looks like we didn't really need them. Uh, with our two times multiplier for the day, we did uh, just under 4,700 XP. We got three kills, 2,033 damage, three detected, 15, 16 assists, and we did block 135. I believe that was one of the shots from the uh, knight. I'm going to say this tank can bounce some shots. It doesn't bounce very much. 
All right, so that does put us at the uh, top of the leaderboard. I think a uh, game or two after this, I did unlock and purchase the 110. So this will probably be the end of my IS2 videos for a while. So, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. Comments, questions, or anything else on your mind, leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. You'll get notifications from YouTube when I post new videos. And as always, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.